Hey guys, welcome to QA Automated. Uh, this video is going to be very quick and simple. This is regarding how to take screenshot with Appium. So let's find out. So here, uh, this is a sample test case uh, which we use for seek bar example. And here I have added a new function called capture screenshot. Using this function, we can capture screenshot plus we can name the screenshot uh, however we want. Uh, in this example, I have named it using date and time. So I, I can know like when uh, when the screenshot was taken and this function I can call when the test case passed or when I am testing for certain UI components, I can call this function and the screenshot will be stored with the uh, selected uh, directory and selected file name. So let's see. First, I have given folder name as a screenshot so this will my will be my folder name where i will save my all the uh, screenshot picture files then i have created a new object uh, of file and i have called this method get a screenshot as output file type okay then we have uh, created a date format object here date format df so in this uh, object we we have just uh, instantiated this object with the specified date format which we want we can give di different date format supported by this function uh, then once uh, we have declared a format we need to make a directory uh, with this folder name where we will be storing our files once this directory is done then we can uh, add the file name format so file name format will be this date and time at the time the screenshot is captured plus extension will be dot png as it's a image file we will use dot png then then we need to copy the screenshot to this folder which we have created that is screenshot folder so here we have added this folder name and file name so once this is done you can now capture your screenshot and use it in your test cases wherever you want so thank you guys thank you for watching this video try this out on yourself if you like this video give it, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you have any questions suggestion feedback you can write in the comment section below thank you